Hello everyone and welcome to week 6. This week we will discuss test taking strategies as well as different study skills. Uh, this is a very important topic given that we, um, including myself, we have tests and quiz that measure our knowledge in the material of the class. So let's get started. Going on to the pop quiz that we had in last week, module number five, we were discussing the educational planning, uh, the different options at Pasadena, either through educational or career options. From there, you took the quiz, as I instructed, based off the information I provided in that presentation. I hope all went well. Looking at the scores, you all did great. So let's go and discuss how that went for you all. Okay, so pop quiz. Uh, how did you feel? Right? Were you anxious or confident? Why or why not? Would you have been prepared? How would you generally feel about taking quizzes or tests? Our quiz was based off the information I provided. So you should have gone and through the information and study for the quiz. As, at the end of the quiz, you were provided with the answers immediately. So you should all know what the answers were. And actually, I elaborated on the answers. Okay. So test taking strategies, test mindset. Tests, quizzes, midterms, etc., are opportunities for you to show case what you know. And this is a measurement, of course, in terms of the knowledge that you have gained from either the lesson or the week or just the class in general. Um, and we do have these lessons throughout college. What to do before the test? Do your homework regularly, of course attend class and participate regularly. Review. So there is daily reviews, which is short and once a day. Weekly reviews, about an hour per subject to cover reading and lecture notes. And major reviews, which is two to four at a stretch one week before major exams. And of course, please make sure to get a good night's rest and eat well. You do not want to cram everything the night before and stay up or, as others say, pull an all-nighter, right? You want to be prepared and you want to be relaxed for this test that you'll be taking. Okay, so the different tools make a study checklist, mind maps, flashcards, and as you can see, there's an image on the right-hand side in terms of the flashcards. And you can see the different colors. Ask the instructor what to expect. Get copies of the old exams. Study with others. And when studying with others, there are different things that you can do. So test each other, teach each other, compare notes, and brainstorm test questions. And I believe this is a great opportunity in terms of studying for a test. Some may not want to study in groups, but I recommend to at least try it and see how it goes for you. So what to do during the test? Of course, arrive early. You do not want to get there late. Scan the whole test and estimate a time needed. Evaluate the importance of each section. Read the directions carefully. Underline all keywords in the directions. And in margins, jot down the memories, aids, or formulas of the equations and facts. Relax. Answer the easiest and short questions first, which is something I like to do, given that those are the ones that put me at ease. Then answer multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank. Use memory techniques and pace yourself. You want to make sure that you have an understanding of how much time is allocated to you and 
how will you be using that time during the test? So if you feel you're starting to panic or go blank, just make sure to stop, take deep breaths, and close your eyes and relax. Remember, this is a test, and you want to improve or demonstrate the knowledge that you've gained from the class or subject, etc. Different types of tests, problem solving, which is math and science typically, machine scored, which is a scantron, computerized, laboratory, typically science, and open book, open notes. Keep in mind these are different types of tests. Typically when we were on campus or face-to-face, -face. but of course many of these uh, testing styles still happen through online learning. Multiple choice questions. So check the directions to see if there is more than one that you can answer. Read all answers to each question before selecting one. Take advantage of cues and keywords within the question. Your first, in, your first instinct is typically the best one. True or false questions, so read them carefully. Get qualifiers, and these are often indicate true fact statements, which is all, most, sometimes, rarely. Look at the absolute qualifiers. These are indicators of false statements, which is always and never. Short answer, fill in the blank. These are often questions that ask the definitions or short descriptions. Concentrate on key words and facts, and as well as be brief. Matching questions, review over both columns first. Start with the easiest ones. Read longer statements then match it to its choice and cross out each choice as you use it. Make sure that you keep track of what you have been using. You do not want to use the same answer twice if it's only allocated one time. Essay questions. Find out exactly what the question is asking. Develop a brief outline before you write. Get right to the point. Put the most solid supporting points first and write concise, organized, and clear answers. So basically, you want to draft something, have it ready for yourself, and then go through the points. You do not want to start writing right away, or if you prefer, you can do so but you want to be concise, you want to be organized for these essay questions. Words to watch for in essay. Analyze, which is break into parts and discuss each part. Define, which is give meaning. Compare, which is to explain similarities and differences. Criticize, evaluate positive and negative effects. Describe, which is visual and give information. Contrast, which is showing the difference. Explain, make an idea clear. And summarize, which is to give important ideas. Open book test. Write formulas that you need on a separate sheet of paper. Place post-it notes or paper clips on important pages. And this is important because you do not want to flip through the book. You want to already have a bookmark or something you can go ahead and refer to. That way you will save time and work quickly through it. Number your class notes and write short table of contents. Ways to predict test questions. Make sure to ask your instructor to describe what the test is going to be. 
save all quizzes, papers, lab sheets, uh, graded material because typically that will be on the exam. Practice working problems using different variables. Brainstorm questions uh, with other students. Watch for clues from instructor during the class. So repeating certain points. Write information on the board, gestures or tone questions, post. Also, you want to keep track and study with others in the class given that they're going through the same uh, material and same study habits that perhaps you may have. That would definitely help you as a group. Tense anxiety can cause physical symptoms like sweating, headaches, fatigue, or psychological sy symptoms such as inability to concentrate or feeling overwhelmed. Best way to fi fight anxiety is through preparation. Because you want to be as prepared as possible and you do not want to run into surprises or once again go through anxiety. Attitude is key, so test is an important opportunity to learn. Test measures performance, not personal value. Appreciate your instructor's purpose. Set up yourself for success and practice relaxation. After the test, review the exam detail. What questions did you answer correctly? What questions did you answer incorrectly? Do you understand why you answered them wrong? Meet with your instructor to understand what concepts went wrong or better prepare for the next test. Attend office hours, attend review sessions, ask questions during class. And there are two different mindsets. So after the test is a growth mindset, which is failure is an opportunity to grow. I can learn from this. Challenges help me to grow. I like to try new things versus a fixed mindset, which can be failure is the limit of my abilities. When I'm frustrated, I give up. I stick to what I know. I don't like to be challenged, etc. And you want to have the growth mindset mentality. Okay, and I will post this video on the lecture website and make sure. Uh, to analyze a video in terms of the different types of mindsets. And this is it for today, this week. Make sure to also go through the links that I posted in terms of your educational plan. Keep in mind, you do have to submit a draft or a sample. Uh, I will review it the week of and give you feedback because we need to submit a um, final educational plan. Let me know if you have any questions and like I mentioned, I am here to help. Thank you.